Hello and welcome to this video where we are going to be going over how to make it in trading. What I mean by this is we're going to be going over the steps of how to become a successful, profitable and consistent trader over time because this is what you should be aiming for. You do not want to take one really big win, take a loss, take another really big win and then have a loss that destroys and liquidates the account. What you need to be aiming for is to have this equity curve that is consistently over time going up and up in a slow and controlled manner. So in today's video, we're going to be running through some of the steps of how to get into this professional trader's mindset. So I hope that you really enjoy and you can learn a lot from this video. Again, give it your full attention, turn off distractions, take out the notepad and let's begin. Cheers, everybody. So in this video, we're going to be going through four main topics, and those topics are going to be starting off with problems slash challenges faced, observe and learning, finding your style within technical analysis, because obviously there's thousands of technical tools out there, and you want to try and find that style and technique and strategy that works for you. Then we're going to be moving on to don't focus on money. And this point topic might sound very counterintuitive, coming from a trader where the focus obviously is all about money and making money, but how adjusting your mindset and viewing the way that you view the charts and the psychology and emotions behind that, um, you know, adjusting this is going to be critical to actually making money. Uh, there are going to be a few bonus topics uh, towards the end of the video as well. I hope you enjoy this and let's begin. So starting with the problems and challenges faced by every single trader. These are things that I went through myself when I first started to learn to trade. And obviously I run a mentorship where we get a lot of new traders coming into the group and starting off their very first trades, um, you know, from the very beginning. And I get to see firsthand now every day um, the problems and challenges that these people sort of face and how to conquer those challenges and get past them and move on to the next level. And so I've got a few things here to really bring your attention to at the very least. Starting off with point number one, which is assume you are the problem. What I mean by assume you're the problem is that do not place the blame on somebody or something else. For example, blaming it on the exchange, taking a losing trade and saying the market is manipulated, taking a losing trade and blaming it on some external factor. I always say to everybody, everybody can make money in trading. Every single person can make money trading because what do you need to make money trading? You need to be able to click a mouse or tap a screen on your phone because all you need to actually do to make money trading is click buy or sell. Then price will either go up and you'll make money or it will go down and you'll lose money. So everybody can make money trading because all you need to be able to do is click a button on the mouse. But the reason where people start to go wrong is that they start to lose. And then they will start to blame it on external factors other than their, their own decision to of click buy or to click sell. And then they're going to go down a big rabbit hole of reasons why that didn't work. You know, the biggest one being the market's manipulated. X, Y, and Z. There's a whole list of reasons, but you have to take responsibility, responsibility, I suppose, that you are the problem. You are the reason why you are not winning trades. And once you have accepted that you and nobody else is the problem of losing your trades, that's only when you can actually start to move forwards. So the first step, just acknowledging there's a problem, is the first step of moving forwards. Until you can acknowledge there's a problem, if you're not winning at trading, you cannot really move forward. So some people that I've seen, for example, will come to me and, you know, they're going to be trying to learn. That, but what I see from a lot of people is, is they'll come into the group, for example, and they'll maybe try with 10 percent effort. So they'll post a few really poor charts. You know, I, I, I obviously have a list of 100 videos on the website of really great educational content. You know, you can learn about Fibonacci, you can learn about footprint charts, you can learn about, you know, your trend lines, your triangles, your indicators, you know, we've got all the educational material, but then I will have people come into the group. And it's very evident that they have not watched any of it. Maybe they've watched one or two videos. Um, they'll post a few poor charts. 
with very, very little effort put into the whole process. And then they will wonder why they're not winning trades. And so what I'm saying is, how can you expect really to to actually move forwards if you have the content in front of you, but then you are so lazy to not even study the content sufficiently enough and then come to me saying that there's a problem and you're not winning trades when the first question I ask is, have you even watched all the videos yet? And, and the answer is no. You know, the, the thing you've got to re really realize here is you can only help yourself. You know, you, you have to be able to help yourself. For me to help you, you do have to be able to help yourself. And that obviously does mean studying and putting in a bit of effort, more than 10%, which, which to be honest, the majority of people do. The majority of people do. They'll come in, they'll expect an easy ride. They'll put in 10, 15% effort. Maybe they'll even put in, you know, 60% effort for one month and then they give up. You know, that is a cycle that happens time and time and time and time again. I don't know how much times I've seen this. Too much, to be honest. Too many times I've seen this. But people do not help themselves. You know, they will give up and say they are not made for trading. People always choose the path of least resistance and cut corners. I mean by this is people are very easy to give up on things. And, uh, you know, I've said this before. My vocabulary doesn't have the words give up. If I give up on something, I'm, I'm a loser. And what I want to be is a champion. And you cannot become a champion of something by giving up. Do you think Michael Jordan, the first time he picked up a basketball, became one of the best basketball players in the world? No. You know, these people have to work on their set of skills. And exactly the same thing is in trading. You do not go to a computer and become a master trader straight away. No. Everybody will go through the pain of trading at first you know everybody's going to take losses every you know a lot of people even the best traders in the world will blow up and liquidate their accounts and it goes through the process of of taking those losses learning from the losses and moving forwards and that's one of the big things really is learning from your losses not taking a loss and ignoring it not taking a loss and just not acknowledging it but actually taking the loss learning from the loss and moving forwards in, in that way and this encompasses the fact that this is a sector trading where you must put in the work you know effort is a major factor of success and this in my opinion is is within every single field in the world that you can you cannot become successful if you do not put in the effort and i think people have this um, kind of idea that trading is is easy money uh you know that you can just come in take a few trades make money and and, and do this consistently over time and, and that's you know just the wrong impression to have of trading you cannot you know i've said that this is an easy trade this trade is easy money but there's a difference of a trade being easy money uh from somebody coming from the you know the having done this for many years and taken thousands of trades and put in the time and effort and then and and being able to do that consistently over time because yes anybody can come in click buy on the mouse and price goes up and say that was easy money. But can they do that consistently over time? I think the answer is no. You cannot make money consistently in trading unless you really know what you're doing with the analysis. But this all comes down to the fact that effort is a major factor of success. And getting to the stage where you, where you like the back of your hand, you, you, you start to see the patterns almost before they're formed. You know, you have this really great intuition of the market. You really get in that zone. Um, and you just you're able to fly and look at the charts seamlessly with with no real effort. You know, I, I like to think now I can look at the charts and there's I'm, I'm not really putting in any effort when I look at the chart and decide the trade I want to take. But that has come after years of, of putting in a lot of effort when you get to that sort of stage, I suppose. And the last point that I want to make here is you have to be willing to work harder than everyone else and learn more than anyone else. If you are doing something wrong, well, work out what it is. So, for example, you're going through a bit of a losing streak, let's say, on, on, on cryptocurrency or whatever you're trading. You, you, you have to th think to yourself, OK, what's going wrong here? Is it the style of trading that I'm doing? Is it something emotional? Is it something, you know, affect is there something around me that's affecting me doing these poor trades? You have to work out what's going wrong. And only from working out what's going wrong can you then start to improve upon what's going wrong. Yeah, I suppose there's a few main steps here. It's, it's first acknowledging, you know, you've got a problem. And then secondly, it's working out what that problem is. And then it would be point number three of changing something to fix that problem. You know, you can't, you can't 
expect to keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and expect different results in your trading you know you have to you have to actively change something for the better if you want to start to improve okay so the next next topic that we're going to be going over here is observing and learning and this is a really big big topic in my opinion so point number one within this topic watch and study as many of the top traders as possible observe and understand why they are taking certain trades let go of your pride and figure out what it is what i mean by letting go of your pride is you know some people might have an ego almost that's saying they, they you know they don't want to look at what this trade is doing because they might think you know i'm better than them i, I don't want to learn from them because i'm better than them whereas i think you got, you got to let go of your pride and you've got to acknowledge okay this person's actually really successful at what they do so let me watch and learn as much as i can from this successful person because i want to understand i want to be like that person for me a trader that i really 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 respect and think wow this person absolutely mastered trading and was so successful is mark douglas you know i have watched hours upon hours upon hours read the books you know everything mark douglas i've studied because i feel that this trader was just the top of his game and so you know for me it's just like everything that he does i want i want to read it you know i want to watch the videos i want to watch his seminars because he has so much knowledge and from you know that has i can honestly say helped me improve at my trading so it's getting you know as much material as possible and and observing everything they do every trade they take you know why why did they do this until you can fully fully understand why they're doing that study 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 <laughs> really simply study 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 you can see that there's, there's a common occurrence here that studying and and you know putting in an active effort is, is very important in trading it's, it's not as easy as many people will, will make you believe <laughs> so finding your style this is obviously finding your style within technical analysis there are many different technical analysis tools and they are not a one size fits all what we mean by this is for example you can go do you know on the website we have a bollinger band strategy we have the uh you know the footprint strategy we have a ccv setups you know ccw setups with your fibonacci you know there's different tools that you can use but you cannot imagine putting in a hundred tools and putting them into a system you know it's just it's just never going to give you results you're going to have analysis paralysis where you're going to have too much information you you can't decipher should i long here should i short here should i be out of the market should i be hedged you know you're just going to be confused so how do you get out of that confusion you have to find the style that fits you you have to find the technical tools that work for you myself i know exactly my style i know the exact trades that i want to take and if my setups don't come up i just don't trade you have to understand i'm never going to tell you use fibonacci and don't use anything else because you might actually come to me and say well daniel actually i, I really love this exponential moving average strategy and, and you know i just want to use that and i'm going to say well that's absolutely fine because who am i to say that that's not a good, good way to trade um if it works for you it works for you but you got, got to find your style learn through trial and error what works for you and then slightly adapt the strategies until you understand and can trade it like the back of your hand <laughs> you know th this is this is a perfect example i mean uh, literally you, you would load up a th th let's say you you take let's take the exponential moving average strategy and you know i've got a whole hour video of this on the website and you know it's a really really simple strategy you're looking for a crossover on exponential moving averages and and when they cross over you you signal a buy you know you signal a buy it's very very simple would i say it's consistent over time that's another question but really simply if you just take a very simple strategy such as the exponential moving exponential moving average crossover strategy and you understand when to take the trade when to get out the trade okay you understand the invalidation of the trade and you can trade it like the back of your hand and you are actually seeing consistent results over the time well, that's absolutely brilliant but what let's say that you're taking that strategy and you're taking a few losses on it so then what you can start to do is look into that strategy and say how can i improve this again if you've watched my videos you'll know that we'll be looking for things such as you know what's the volume like on the breakouts what what's the delta doing you know these are just a few factors you know what's the cvd divergence is like you know these are these are just a few factors that you can add in 
to a very basic strategy and go from a very basic strategy that maybe gives a, let's just say, a 60% win rate to knowing when there's false signals in that strategy and maybe going from 10 trades to 5 trades, but then you're going from a 60% win rate to, let's say, an 85% win rate because you're not taking those poor trades anymore. And, you know, you're just improving, you're working on it, and you're, you're really getting that strategy that, that works consistently for you over time. The next point is, do you really think that you can profit trading with just RSI and MACD, like 90% of the market? This is a open question that I'm just going to put to you. 90% of the market will read their first trading book and they'll say, buy when RSI is down at the lows, sell when RSI is up at the highs. Um, you know, just black and white statements. And, and, and I, I question, do you, do you think you can be profitable with the basic strategy that everybody else is looking at? You probably know my opinion on that, but that's just an open question. Do you, do you really think that you can be profitable, consistent trading like everybody else in the market? Moving on to the next topic, we're going to be going through don't focus on money. As I said at the start of this video, I might seem counterintuitive to you because everything on trading is evolved around money. The whole process every single day, you're looking at money, you're looking at your bankroll, you're using your money management. But why? Focusing on the money may not actually be the best thing for you. Let me go through the points that I've written here for you. Point number one is focus on improvement and building skills. You know, using Michael Jordan as an example, using, let's use Cristiano Ronaldo as an example. Do you, do you think Cristiano Ronaldo, the first time he ever played football, was a master? Do you think he was doing all these keep you up dribbling around people? Um, you know, the answer is going to be no, because nobody is going to straight away come into something and be a, a master. You know, they, they work very, very hard. You know, look at some of the top athletes. You know, they're, they're totally dedicated to it. But it's not only the dedication, it's also the passion, I suppose. For me anyway, let me, let me talk from my perspective that trading is an absolute passion. And I love every second I'm in front of the charts. This, this is how I can naturally just spend a lot of time on it. But I enjoy every single second and so i'm focused on the process of trading i'm focused on the process of finding the entry that i want you know for me doing the technical analysis it's, it's almost like a puzzle you know you've got you've got the chart in front of you and then you need to really work out the, the best trade and it's the process that you're going through and it's the skills that you're building over time that gets you to the mastery stage um, so what, what, what I'm saying here is, is you do not want to be focused going into each trade of saying, how much am I going to make? How much am I going to lose? Of course, you need to be aware of that. But we're not, once we're in the trade, let's say, we're not looking at the PL going up, going down. Every, you know, we're in a long and every uptick, we feel, we feel euphoria. And every downtick, we start to feel fear. You know, we, we get 10 ticks up and we start to think we're on top of the world and we're the best trader. It goes down two ticks and we close out early because we're thinking, all right, here, here it's going to turn around. I'll close out the trade early. And then it goes back two ticks and then it goes up another 10 ticks. And then you start to say to yourself, oh my, I just closed out too early because you were scared of, basically scared of seeing your profit turns to loss. But if you had actually just stuck to the trade, what you originally planned out, you would have made money. The same goes for, you know, another set of people that will do their analysis. And then when it comes to taking the trade, that they're, they're too scared to actually take the trade. This is because of all the other factors that are haunting them from their past trades, where they've failed so many times in the past, they've liquidated so many accounts, that now when they actually have a really good setup, they're just plain scared to take the trade. But this is because what, what are they scared of? You know, what, what are they scared? They're scared of obviously losing money. Whereas if they're just focused on taking that trade, maybe even walking away but just taking that trade it's going to win or it's going to lose essentially and what you want to get to is, is you want to get to this level where you are so focused on the process you're so focused on taking good trades that the money comes naturally when i'm going through a streak of trading i'm not focused on every single dollar that i'm making what i'm focused on is taking my trades in a really relaxed and enjoyable way and the money, when I go and check it at the end of the month, my equity curve is just going up and up and up. And it's because, in my opinion, I've, you know, we're, we're enjoying the process and we're just building a set of skills. So you need to be focused, truly focused on just building your skills in trading. 
you know, just remember to yourself, remind yourself, it's, it's not going to be easy at first. Everybody's going to take losses. Everybody's going to go through the pains. But what you need to be focused on is, is building those skills. You know, it might, might, might take you a few years. It's, it's likely going to take you a few years. Don't come into the mindset of thinking, right, I'm going to give trading six months. If I've not made it in six months, I'm going to quit. Because I think it's very, 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 very unlikely that you make it in six months, in, in my opinion. You know, you need to have to have, you know, for example, to be a doctor, you're, you're studying for seven years. It's similar, you could think of trading. I would say at least a few years, at the very least, you have to be, you have to be in it for a few years. Um, or you're going to really start to see that really great consistency and that, and that intuition that just everything seems to come naturally to you. If you keep improving every month, eventually you will get there. This is just a matter of numbers. You have to think to yourself, if, if, if you are, and again, we're, we're going this with the mindset of you're putting in, you know, 100%, you're putting in as much effort as possible. So you're not approaching this with the effort that a lot of people come to me with is their 10% effort. They, they can't actually be bothered to watch all the videos. You know, there's too much. They, they don't want to do it. They don't have the time. You know, they, 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 they have X, Y, and Z going on, you know, and then I, I see traders such as, I'll shout out Igor. Igor is a trader within Chart Champions who come in, didn't know anything about trading, studied all the content, and now he's making money consistently. Trader R, he did, did the same. You know, he's a now a full-time trader. But what's, what's you know, Igor, for example, he, he has a family, he has kids, he's a business owner, he, he runs a business, and he's doing that simultaneously while trading. And I obviously would like to sell his business and, and just focus on trading. But that's, that's a different point. What I'm saying here is, there is no excuse of, oh, I can't do this because of this. I can't do this because of that. What you have to do is if you have the right dedication, if, if you actually want to do it, nothing can stop you. Even if you only have one hour a week, it's going to take you more time, but you will get there eventually. There, there's no excuse. The, 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 only, the only person stopping you achieving your goal of financial freedom through trading is really you, yourself. It's the barriers and, and psychological things that you're thinking about of, oh, I can't do this. Because you've got to be thinking, I can do this and I will do this. And then I, I honestly feel there's absolutely nothing that can stop you. But the next point I want to make here is making money in trading is a natural step. Only once you have first mastered the strategies. So once you get into this uh, realm of, you know, naturally flowing through your trades, you know, the money money's just a byproduct of making good trades. So when you're consistently making good trades, the money is just you know, building up on its own without having to even think about the money. This is a bonus section that I've added in and it's go above and beyond. So the first step that I want to make here is the majority of people who don't make it is not because they are not talented enough. It is the people who don't work hard enough. So the people who do make it are those willing to put in the extra hours, even though at times you don't see the monetary rewards. So, you know, it's going through and I remember it myself. I was putting in hours upon hours into trading and losing money and many people at this point would would give up you know they're, they're, they're putting in hours upon hours upon hours and they're, they're losing money and they're going to think to themselves right this is not for me and I'll, I'll give up you know i can just think now if i had if i had given up well obviously i wouldn't know this this part of me now but i am honestly say i'm so happy that i haven't and i know people that within the group that were going through losing stages uh losing stages of you know, literally losing trades. And then you have, they have the pressure of their wives, of, the, of their friends and family, of them telling them, you know, you know their, their wife can obviously see that they love trading, but at the same time, they're continuously losing money. And that's putting a really big burden and pressure on them that is in turn actually making them trade even worse because they've got such a pressure to perform. It's actually hindering their, their, their progression. Now I would like to bring your attention to a post made within the Chart Champions group, which really encompasses exactly what I want to get across here. Okay, so we're going to go over to this post now. This post here by DN Crypto, and it's in reference to a trading competition that we at Chart Champions hosted, along with Bybit, to give away $55,000. And DN Crypto here finished third place and actually took away a prize of 0 0.37 Bitcoin. Uh, which is about $10,000. And so this is the post that I want to read out for you now. Daniel, I have been dreaming of this for a very long time. The moment I can thank you for everything you have taught me regarding trading mindset and life in general. 
in this competition, I could demonstrate myself that I can be a consistent trader and extremely important that I could show my wife and close friends that I can do it and I'm not wasting my time. Everyone around me said that what I'm doing is a waste of time gambling and I should look to do something serious because I won't make money from trading. Each time I told them, look, Daniel is consistently taking money out of the market to his bank. So it is possible but I need to put in practice and focus and someday I will make money from this. Ending the competition in third place was confirmation that I can do it. And now the pressure around me, especially from the wife, is less and somehow understand that I need time with the charts because this is my passion and I can make a living out of it. I couldn't do this without Daniel. Without seeing you taking partial profits, even if it's a small 0.2%, without seeing you taking a loss and moving to the next trade, without seeing you missing a trade and you don't care because you know that there will always be another opportunity in the market without seeing you not taking a trade for a whole day or even more days when there is no setup and many 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 other examples you give us here in the group thank you for the transparency with us seeing you trading and growing accounts was like seeing a miracle until there was a lot of traders on twitter but no one has been so transparent so that i could see with my eyes what they are doing is working meaning growing accounts taking profits and moving them to the bank you've been my confirmation that i'm not chasing a ghost and my dreams can become a reality with work and the right mindset can't thank you enough in words for everything and making a great christmas gift to me and my family santa prison on the way we obviously gave him 10 grand or for, for finishing third in that competition so that was obviously brilliant but this really really does just everything that i want to make with this point is it is in that post and it's a really, really brilliant post and honestly well done but i think it's it's that step of you know there's three points really that that you've got here that the first step is you know you've heard it from everybody i'm sure on what you what you do in trading trading's gambling you know you don't 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 go don't gamble away all your money on trading you know you can't make a living out of this uh you can only do that if you're on wall street etc 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 you know i'm sure you've all heard it before so it's going through that first or the, the doubt around you and then if you're if people are doubting you while you're also losing money because you're learning obviously it's going to be very hard to succeed but if you can get past those doubters if you can get the support from your family that's obviously even, even better but when you actually then start to consistently make some money you start to taking those wins and people start to believe you well that's obviously brilliant and i suppose the bit about this transparency is i suppose i'm always really open with my trades you know I'll, I'll go on accounts people can watch me live trading with the account open they'll see me taking the trades you know full transparency you know i'll happily go on here and trade hundreds and thousands of dollars on on screen so people can understand the process behind that um so i, I think you've got to be careful with some people on youtube and twitter that are, are, are just scammers like there's no right and you know, there's no left and right but there are just pure scammers so you do have to be really really careful i believe in this whole space and sometimes you know there's also this this bad vibe around people that, that run trading groups but i think that there's you know you got to focus on the positivity you got to focus on okay who, who who knows what they're doing or who can actually see perform with with real results and i just wanted to bring your attention to this dn crypto post and again well done on on that competition and hopefully this post can can inspire some other people here that were maybe in a or are in a similar position of losing trades and going through that process, studying the content, learning and coming out at the end of it with a very nice prize indeed. The next point that I want to go through here should hopefully be very eye opening for you. And that point is I can share my knowledge on the website with you all and the strategies that I trade because I know most of you won't even try and compete with me. So what do I need to be worried about? What I mean by this is I can openly share on the website my strategies, how I'm trading, what I look for to get in, what I look for to get out, my take profits, everything about how I trade. People can watch me trading because I know for a fact that let's say I'm sharing this with 100 people, maybe only four or five of those people are actually going to be putting in the effort to study, learn and then implement exactly what I'm doing. So the percentage of people that are actually going to put in the effort is so low. I don't have to worry about the strategy becoming 
not efficient, not working, because the percentage of people that are actually going to put in the time and effort is just very low. Most people are not going to put in the effort. So there's nothing for me to worry about. And for the people that have put in the effort, for the people in the group that are now having consistent results and making a lot of money from trading, honestly, I feel very proud and happy. And my hat goes off to them. And I just say, absolutely well done. That's what I want. I want people to study and understand everything that I do and just trade exactly like I trade. And that is absolutely wonderful. But I do know that mo most people just won't do it. It's as simple as that. I hope that you do. <laughs> I hope that you do. Moving on. Choose your community. Surrounding yourself with other motivated individuals greatly changes your mindset. If you are the smartest person in the room, you are in the wrong room. That's a quote that I liked. Uh, and this just goes about the community aspect. Obviously, at Chart Champions, we have a community of traders. But this is, is the same with your friendship groups, etc. Like, I tr truly feel like if you're surrounded with losers, if you're surrounded with people that tell you you can't do this, if you're just surrounded by really negative people, uh, you know, if you're surrounded by people that will hate on people and this and that moaning all the time, I, I just don't really think you're in a, it, it, you're not, you're not helping yourself. You're not going to be thriving. You're not going to be successful, you know? So I, I feel that that community aspect and surrounding yourself with really good people, positive, successful people, that really is going to be such a game changer. It really should be a game changer. And I like to say, if I'm the smartest person in the room, I, I, want, I want to go to another room because I want to learn something from someone else. I want to copy that successful person. You know, I want to take inspiration and, and pick their brains every single opportunity. Um, so this, this for me is, 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 a big, is a big one that, that can help you go to the next level of, of, of surround yourself, I suppose, with positivity and successful people. The next topic that I want to look at with you all here is about trading strategies. And this is about the new trading strategy that we have given at Chart Champions. And it's, it's one that I and many others now absolutely love. And we're using this every day. But what, what I want to emphasize here is this is a new strategy. Uh, this is something that we've implemented over the past year. And what I want to say is if I was using the same strategies that I was using, you know, three years ago, would have I ever come across this new strategy? And the answer is no, because I would have been so stuck in my ways of using the same techniques, I wouldn't have been able to better myself and improve. So what is that? What does this fall under? That falls under complacency. You'd never want to become complacent. You never want to get to the step where you feel you're the best and you can't improve because then you're blocking off, well, you're basically blocking off ways to improve. You always want to be working even if you feel you're at the top of the game, you can always go that extra 1%. And this really is highlighted, in my opinion, by the new strategy that we have implemented. Um, great strategy. Absolutely love it. Using it every day. And if we didn't have our eyes open to these new tools that were coming out, you know, this, this is EXO and this was obviously only released this year. So it's a brand new tool and it's just, you know, we absolutely love it. Uh, you know, so it, it's a great tool, but it's all about that not being complacent, opening your eyes to new things, open your eyes to new strategies, knowing that there's always ways that you can improve. And I feel that this is a just an absolutely amazing example of that, that we've been working on very hard. Next, building statistics. Put in the hours to get an advantage over the competition. So here I've pulled out statistics on Bitcoin. I'm looking at the opens, the highs, the lows, the closes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking here at the open interest, the, the delta, the highs and lows, the time each candle takes, you know, the trades within that candle, the CVD, the trades per seconds. And from this information, I can pull out statistics. So I can look, for example, you know, what's the average high and low of each candle of the day? How long do they take? How many trades are within that? You know, I can work out a lot of averages and statistics from, from this data. And obviously from that from that data, I can start to build the statistics and from those statistics I can start to say to myself okay so this is actually the most likely at this time of the day and if I start to see the same patterns occurring it gives me a little bit of an advantage like I've said here really still how Daniel sometimes predicts the moves is just a bot beyond me amazing if this is somehow possible I want to achieve it years and years studying practice grinding every day and here um I'll read this out this video is probably going on longer than what I thought but I'll read this out 
I go way above and beyond the average trader. How many people do you think bother to journal their trades, record statistics, reviewing the bad trades, only taking the best trades? The answer, in my opinion, is less than 5%. And that's again why I said I don't need to be worried because not many people are going to get these statistics even in the first place. And, you know, this looks this looks like too much hard work to many people. Um, you know, that's how I get these sort of statistics. The 76% probability of hitting the 6 when it going to the CC. And they're great statistics, so they really are, you know, a massive help. But yeah, that, that that's one thing that I wanted to note here. And as we move forward and bring this to a close of you know, putting in that little bit of uh, extra... And putting in, putting in the extra hours to get an advantage over the competition you know if i can trading is a zero sum game there's always going to be winners and there's always going to be losers in trading so if i can put in that extra one percent go that extra distance put in those extra hours and, and walk away with more money at the end of the day well, I'm, I'm gonna do it myself and i'm and I, I enjoy the process you know i actually enjoy recording these statistics <laughs> maybe that's a bit sad but that's me so to wrap up this stream, we are going to be going through this photo of the champion. He has crushed the charts and he has become financially free through trading. And he is feeling very happy with himself looking over the city uh, with his with his cup in hand. And these are three points that I'd like you to walk away with and remember. Success doesn't just come and find you. You have to put in hard work to find it. And if you really want to do something, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse by simple words. So to summarize everything that we've gone through in this video, point number one, understand the problem. Point number two, put in the hard work. Point number three, reap the rewards. So what have we come to acknowledge from this video? Firstly, know what your problem is in trading, work it out. If you need some help, well, we're here for you. Then you are going to have to put in some work. You are going to have to put in some effort. You cannot imagine to just put in absolutely no work, no study time, and just become financially free through trading. It's not going to happen. You can get lucky on a few trades. You can even get lucky on a string of trades. If you don't understand the strategies and money management, you can go through five wins in a row, get a lot of money, lose it all on the sixth. It's not what you want to be. You want to be consistent over time. And when you put in the hard work to get to that level, then you can start to reap those rewards. And the final point that I would like to make in this video is that if you would like a team of professionals to guide you on this trading journey, we have a mentorship program and a free trading community available. So you can share ideas and learn with thousands of other people from all over the world together in this journey. That's over at chartchampions.com. I'd like to end this by saying, you know, when Chart Champions was created, I, I guess I never even imagined to have something called Chart Champions. It was through just helping out freely on YouTube. And then there was a demand and people were really interested in what I wanted to, well, you know, what I was talking about. And from there, we obviously created the educational service. And from here, it's, it's really just grew. And I never, ever, ever expected to be doing this. But now I am. I, I actually really, really love it. Uh, you know, it's just it's an absolute joy to go through my day now and speaking to people within the community, seeing people taking really good trades, seeing people making money, taking, you know, taking their trades, planning their trades, winning their trades. You know, it's absolutely brilliant. I love it. And, you know, it is it's funny to me to think how, how we got here. And you know, it, honestly, I can just say from the bottom of my heart, it's an absolute pleasure whether you're just a subscriber here on YouTube, whether you just follow us along on Instagram, whether you are within the mentorship and you are actively learning to push yourself to be the best who you can be. I just want to say thank you to everybody for all the support. And uh, yeah, if, if you're interested in going to that next level, if you're looking forward to the new year and you want to make it in trading, well, we'd be more than happy to help you on your journey. You can join thousands of other people alongside you all those like-minded traders with the same goals. I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. It has opened up your eyes, has helped you. And if you are interested, I will see you within the Chart Champions trading community. Thank you ever so much and have a great day. Goodbye.